Welcome back to Bioshock 2. My name is Bear. Last time we played, we killed the man! I killed that vampire! His name was Gil Alexander, and he was evil, and he was a giant behemoth of a person, and his dead carcass is now floating in that massive chamber of death. Uh, we also harvested the remaining atom plants to do such an activity, as well as getting the remaining little sisters in this area, who have been told are the last ones we'll ever get! So that's good! I suppose? Am I going this way? What's going on? I need to use this thing. There we go. For some reason, the option doesn't pop up when I first go up to it. Another thing I learned, because the game continues to teach me things through the uh, loading screens of all of all places, is that if I get Winter Blast... This is the Oxyfill Station, Chief. But don't be fooled by the facade. This is the way in. Use that key now. Then I'll be able to freeze machines. There's a weird cutoff point, but uh, we got our idea across anyway. Insert the genetic key into the Oxyfill Station, and then we'll see what happens. But yeah, with that being said, I'm probably going to be getting Winter Blast pretty damn soon. Hidden doorway! Elevator! Room! Cycle out the flood, let's do it! Yeah, baby! On our way down to the secret chambers of Miss Eleanor Lamb, I think. I imagine that's where we're going. What else could we possibly do? Got a bunch of ammunition here and some gloves. Oh, I have full rivets. I should probably be using those. Switch out to the regular stuff there. There we are. And uh, let's take our elevator down. Why don't these things work the first time I see them? What am I doing incorrectly? I'm in here, right? Give yourself unto her. I would. There we go. That's so weird. I think we're on our merry way now, though. Persephone, we're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. Literally. Ha 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 ha. Oh, man. Death is hilarious. Let's go find Eleanor Lamb. We're pretty close to the end, it feels like. We went a little bit quicker through this, didn't we? Or maybe it's just a shorter game. That's kind of what it feels like. Move onward. Starfish! Sweet! I haven't seen Starfish the entire goddamn game! That's fantastic! But they're inside. How'd they get in inside? That's a big guy, too. Holy cow. Is that a whale? Oh, no, that's just a building. Oh, man, the wildlife, the sea critters, they're so outstanding. Oh, it's my favorite part. I should probably go. <laughs> I'm wasting time. We gotta move. Eleanor Lamb is waiting. There's so many of them. I wonder if that's some kind of ominous sign. Like, warning! If you have five limbs, you're in trouble. If you don't, that's okay. But seriously, stay away! Father, come quickly. I, I'm i trapped in a cage. Something's wrong. I'd say something's wrong because you're trapped in a cage. I wonder, Delta. Do you know why you are here? Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? As I watch you now... Oh, sorry to cut you off. There's something very important I need to do, though. Ricochet upgrade, hell yeah! I envy your ignorance. You still believe. I like believing. It's the only thing that separates me from the monsters. Let's hack some stuff, see if we can't get some more goodies before what I expect to maybe be the final encounter, which is kind of crazy. Frag grenade for me. Ah, uh, hello, hey! Hey, now. Don't need to be bouncing around till I actually throw you. What is this from? Daddy's home. <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. You call me Big Daddy. Oh, that was terrible. Hack it. Hack it real fast. Real fast. It's shooting me. Oh, jeez. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. Wow. You're going to be my friend now, buddy. Boom. Oh, wow. That was dangerous. But I did it. Alrighty. Now that we've got that all hacked up, we can probably get some first aid. I have a lot of money, so let's get frag grenades. Fill those up to nearly the brim, man. Those will probably come in handy. Armor piercing rounds, too. Why not? All right, we're in good enough shape, I think. I've got a lot of ammunition for the heavies as well as for the uh, the default guns. Were I to have to encounter a smorgasbord of splicers. I believe that's what a group of splicers is likely called. A smorgasbord or like a murder or a plethora. Uh, one of those three has got to be it. Persephone, 
secret home of Sinclair Solutions. I bet against Andy Ryan's vision of harmony and rapture, offered him a quiet place to send anybody who wasn't working out, and now I'm sitting on my own private think tank. Technically, Utopia shouldn't have much use for a detention facility, but if you do business as long as I have, well, you learn to pick a brand name from the writing on the wall. And a Logus Augustus. That's the nickname I've given him now. Christened upon him, rather. This is creepy as hell. That's her, son. Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. Well, this is absolutely not what I expected. Open the cage. Quarantine seal is engaging. Please stand by. Standing. How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy. Hang on, let me get a picture first. This is a precious moment. Whoa! Whoa! Houdini's! Or something! What is that? Oh, it's this guy! It's two big sisters! What the hell's that? No! No, 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 no! That's not okay! Holy cow! This is gonna be terrible! Good thing I have these turrets at least, but wow, this is gonna be ridiculous! Increase my team! That's nice! Okay! Time to go! Um, can I make them fight each other? Maybe? I'll try that! Uh, uh, get him! Throw it at her! Oh, okay! I think it hit it, but yeah, that didn't work at all. Didn't expect it to, that's fine. Uh, I've got giant frag grenades and stuff I need to switch out to. There we go. My gosh, this is gonna be ridiculous. Oh, wait, that's not the right one. Okay, incinerate level three. Boom. That worked a little bit. Oh my gosh, this music is just adding on to my hysterics. Wait a minute, they're shooting each other. Holy crap! I ruined it! Oh no! Okay, that actually works though. Hypnotize. Again, let's do it. Get this guy right here. Oh, that was security command. That's not the right one. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, goodness. All right, you're right in my face. Hypnotize you. That didn't hit. I got her. I got her. She's going to attack. I hope. Maybe. Maybe I was completely misled by my crazy theatrics. That might be the case. But I'm just going to blow this lady's brains out. That might do the trick anyway. Hi. Nice to see you again. Shock her up. And oh, yeah. That'll do just fine. All right, take one down and the other will fall eventually. Are they still... They seem like they're shooting at each other, but I might just be crazy. Which is very likely, even if any of the above is wrong. All right, who heat-seeking rockets? I forgot I had those. And I used mini turrets, and oh my goodness, all these advantages, but it doesn't matter. They're almost gone. Everything's going to be fine. Just going to reload. I'm going to shock her real quick. This actually isn't going so terribly. I've played my advantages pretty well, but uh, just gotta make sure I don't do anything stupid. These rock, man, I, I need to not fight them in close range. It's probably not a good idea. Step into the decontamination Hurry now, quarantine chamber's waiting on you. Get in there. Okie dokie. You'll see them. You'll see or hear them. Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Fifty seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. And she has been watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster, shaped 
by you alone. Just as she has always wanted. 20 seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. of trauma, he will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now. Or worse, but I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. Shh. What the hell's going on? I'm <laughs> so confused. What the hell just happened? Eleanor died! But now I'm a little sister and I can use vents and gather Adam from bodies. I know this feels a bit strange, Father. But now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go. This is how I brought you back without Mother catching on. Now, first, let's get you out of here. Who are these portly gentlemen? They seem fashionable. I suppose we need to get out of here, though. Ah, yes! We can go through the tunnels! Crawl through the vent, there. Woo! So fun! Wonder if we're gonna be able to actually see what this inner working looks like. Probably not. Darkness. That's just about all. There we go. And we are outside in the holding room hallway. Good. Now, inside Mother's office, there's a way to unlock these chambers she's holding us in. Find a way to slip in there. Okie doke. Probably a good idea to go through the tunnel again. What kind of cool things we might be able to find as a little sister? I'm curious. Oh, and I like this piano. Very fitting. So if I'm putting the pieces together in my mind, Eleanor isn't actually dead, obviously, because she's talking to us. Although she has some kind of telepathic connection, uh, if we're to believe the majority of the story we've been presented thus far. Can't jump, by the way. I've been trying to do that. It's not working. Uh, so, it looks like perhaps Eleanor is possessing the bodies of little sisters very much the same way we are right now, which is what she just explained enabled her to revive me the first time she did it. Now we've entered the office of Sophia Lamb. Wonder what intrigue awaits. You're in. There should be a lever in here somewhere. Pull it, and it will unlock our cells. Attention! Augustus Sinclair has been sighted within the facility. He will attempt to reach Subject Delta. All family duties are hereby suspended until he is found. What Mother did to me left me very weak, or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change to be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big sister suit. Please, bring them to me. This is becoming less than desirable for all parties involved. A bunch of Eve hypo I'm finding lying around here. I wonder if that's going to play in any uh, significance in the future. Eleanor is changing as Delta draws closer. In her sleep, she mutters about having witnessed moments from his journey here. 
she is beginning to resist the moral conditioning. Eleanor's bond with Delta is turning her from the daughter of the people back into a rebellious child whose voice I do not recognize. Worse, I suspect Eleanor of direct involvement in his return. I fear that to separate them, I may have to, to take measures for which I will be unable to forgive myself. Within there we see, uh, hear, not see, we hear the emotional stress brought on by Eleanor Lamb's decision, or Sophia Lamb's decision, rather, to uh, kill Eleanor. What I've just now realized is the perspective that we're following here is the actual way that the little sisters see the world around them. The conditioning and, I guess, the physical torture or whatever they want to call it. This is, like, their reality. I'm just now realizing it. Like, they're seeing all this blood as, like, rose petals. They have the outline of the angels. This is where they're supposed to be trained into gathering. There it is. Yeah, so there's the reality of things. And, uh... Oh, man. That is crazy. And also, psychotic. Wow. I really actually... I am a big fan of the way that they presented this. I am really digging it. And, um, ooh, money. Thank you very much. I like it. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, a mind trip. That's for sure. Bunch of cash. Oh, hi there, friend. Whoa. Oh, that's awesome. Money for me. This is amazing. Oh, there's the gun. With a little big daddy enigma. And uh, we're making our way over now to uh, the destination. There's a piece of the suit in here, Father. Find the rest and bring them back to me. It's a little bit big for her to be carrying around. <laughs> I can imagine her dragging Ten it behind. Ten years, Father. Stuck in this, this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. Helmet and behind mother's back. Let's have a listen. I've been quarantined, but mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control... The other sisters are made from me, in part. As they grow up in rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father, because of me. Eleanor's control was absolute. And there's the final piece, it looks like. Got a first aid kit, might help. And uh, grab the big sister weapon. And I think we've completed our task. Get another E of Hypo, just for the hell of it. And let's go back, I suppose. Looks like our path has now changed into this direction. Mother was right about one thing. I have been watching you, Father. Studying the way you have treated others. And now I know who I am. Hopefully a good person? I am free. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one. And it gave me hope for the first time in years. There you go. Now, I will do the same for all the others, starting with this one. The beautiful Viola. Yes. Oh, man. We've done it, Father. I'll be there soon. These suits always did make me think of you, Father. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. 
I'm alive! Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a- Oh, whoops. <laughs> Stop cutting them off, damn it! Summon Eleanor, blah blah blah. Right there. Ah, there's a movie for it, too. Summon the big sister to fight by your side. Warning, nothing lasts forever. Ooh, that seems dangerous. A fight. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, she's crazy cool. That was amazing. What an experience. All right, well, I think we about might as well carry on here. We're probably approaching the finish line, and uh, why not have a crazy long episode? Sounds like a good time to me. Eve Hypo, first aid kits, and $15. I'll take it. This is the quarantine area. This is the place we were already in, actually, so we can go ahead and continue on, knowing that we've already searched the crevices, whereabouts, and yonder. All those words that mean the same thing. Ooh, we got some friends up here. Oh, okay. Hey, that's powerful and strong. Let's summon Eleanor. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's a brute. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Let's see if I can film it real fast before Eleanor destroys it with her strength of will. Oh, there's two of them. Holy cow. Let's uh, put that guy on my side if I can and uh, take out the splicers the easy way. My gosh. This is so rad. Everything about this is fantastic. Love it. Big sister and big daddy fighting side by side, and she's a lot better than me. Subject Delta, I know you can hear me. You have stolen my life's work, and with it, my only daughter. But Rapture is the house of monsters. The surface will not have us. And now, we shall be buried as a family. Side by side. Nah, I don't think so. Oh god. She's going to drop this building into the trench. It's miles deep. We have to find Sinclair. Sinclair was cut off from radio contact earlier if we uh, forgot that aspect of the story. So he's probably somewhere extremely inconvenient and or linear to where we currently are. Which is probably the, uh, the latter, actually, considering this it looks like it's the doorway there! Fantastic! To Inner Persephone we go.